What is good guys in back room of the vlog? Today I'm with Kyle. We're at Sean's house. We're about to change the whole coolant system on Kyle's car. But while we wait for it to cool down, because we just drove it over here, we'll talk to you guys about the products we picked up from FCP. We got a fan controller. We got the we got the coolant temp sensor, a radiator obviously, the radiator hoses, and a coolant expansion tank and an eBay fan. And this should be everything to get this going and get the coolant good. Because normally when we're like stopped in traffic, I guess like the, the clutch fan went. So when we're stopped in traffic, the car just starts to overheat for no reason. So I'm just going to change everything, give it a fresh refresh that it needs. All right, so we just got the radiator off and the fan shot too. You can see that the engine fan is still on. That's because it's kind of seized on there. I don't know if you guys can see the boat, but that doesn't want to come off. So what we're about to do is take the fan clutch off and then pull the housing and then get the 10 bolts from the, um, the water pump off. And then after that, the whole thing is just going to come off and then we're just going to change the water pump and call it a day. All right, so we got the fan out. We tucked the belt off. We loosened the bolts for this thingy, this pulley. And then we loosened the bolts behind it for the water pump. And at this point, we should just be able to hammer it and it should just come out. Just pause it. Yo. <laughs> this it's about to come out. It's time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the pan's not even getting on. The pan didn't even do his job. Alright, so. We may do. We got it out. Really just. Loosened all of these bolts and then these. Then, as we were loosening them, we noticed that this one had seen better days, so it's a good thing that we're doing it because eventually this would have just cracked. Well, it is cracking if you actually look at it. So, that's crazy. Kyle would have slipped the belt, lost power <laughs> steering, and Battery -like come learned on. something new <laughs> about his life. So, it's good to me. <laughs> and also, this has the plastic propellers. Mm. Kind of look warped, I can't really tell, but when this breaks, <laughs> it goes inside the engine. Oh no. You don't want this breaking. <laughs> okay, so for you guys wondering, what are we gonna do with the water pump and all of this? We have a new water pump and we have the housing already, so we're good. Um, this is what the metal, the metal propeller looks like. We're about to throw it in right now and put everything back together. Okay, so we got the radiator on, the fan is on, the water pump is on, the belt's back on. About to connect the hoses and then set the fan up. I mean, yeah, set the fan up. We also got to put the fan trap back on. Hey, we are in Harbor Freight. About to get myself my first jack and some jack stands so we can be safe out here. Got the jack, jack stands. Car carrying the jack itself. Okay. E36 about to get weight down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> back about to be 10 times lower. So we just got back from Harbor Freight. We got the jack, we got the jack stands. This is what we're doing today. We have control alarms, tie rods, control arm bushings, and M3 calipers. Because we're going to put the M3 brakes on here. So yeah, we we'll have to start taking the wheels off and get into it. Okay, so we just got both wheels off on the car 
and we took the studs off we took the braces off as well so now we're about to take off the whole spindle the tie rods and the control arms I also have to get this annoying bolt off for the control arms I don't know if you guys can see it or not but it's like right next to the engine mount underneath that ground strap cable that bolt is the most annoyingest thing especially on this side because you have all the power steering stuff in the way but about to get to it I think that's gonna be the first thing I take off is that 22 bolt and then after that everything's gonna start coming off we just took apart this whole side right here about to put some grease on the control arm end so we could put the lollipop on so control is about to go on then the spindle will go on then we'll bolt everything back up I guess we were trying to figure out which way we want to take it with this one, so we'll show you how to do the other side when we get to it. Because as you can see, we kind of just took the old spindle off with the control arm instead of breaking this bolt apart because that sure was just going to be too much work that we didn't feel like doing. Okay, so the easiest way to take these control arms is to drop the sway bar there's like 13 mm bolts right here and here and here and here as well so you take those off drop the sway bar let it hang no homo and then you're going to take the tie rods off so then you can have room to get to the bolts back here this bolt right here and then the other bolt over there i already changed the side so that's why but i'm explaining it on this side so take those bolts off and then you're going to take off these two 17 millimeters and then take this 19 millimeter or 18 millimeter off and then the control arm comes off and then after that if you're going to change your spindle then you would just take off these bolts right here the 18s behind the coilovers and then one more 18 at the top but most likely you're not going to do that you're just going to be changing control arms and tie rods so also i forgot to mention tie rods is right here as well this is a 16 or 17 depending on what tie rod it is and then over here I just used the pipe wrench to take it off I'll show you how I took it off I, well I guess I can show you putting it back on when I'm doing that so yeah that's how I take off the tie rods and the control arms we finally finished up we got the calipers on the new rotors the new brake pads the new tie rods as well and the control arm bushings, as you can see. We're about to clean up real quick and then bleed the bricks. You thought we was going to put the, the calipers back on in red, huh? Didn't you? Yeah, alright. It's painted, it, we definitely painted the calipers black. The road is dirty because. My hands are dirty and I touched it, but we're gonna wipe it off. So yeah, I'm pretty much done at this point. All right, so wheels back on. I did a little eye alignment. Kyle's about to go home and get some food or whatever. I think we might go to this car meet tonight. If not, then the vlog ends here. So see you guys in the next vlog.